Hi everyone, in today's video, let's learn about sheep raising and milking technology, the process of betting and shearing sheep, transporting sheep by sea. If you love processing agricultural topics, please subscribe to this channel to follow the latest videos. Currently, sheep breeding technology is being researched and developed in many parts of the world. This technology serves to raise sheep more efficiently, increase productivity, and improve product quality. Sheep firms provide products such as lamb, sheep's wool, sheep's skin, and sheep's milk. Lamb is a widely used product in cuisine, especially in European cuisines. Fleece is used to make cushions, coats, and other garments. Sheep skin is also widely used in the manufacture of shoes, bags, and other fashion products. Sheep's milk also has a high nutritional value and is used to produce dairy products and yogurt. This is a sheep farm. Sheep are kept in cages and raised for free. During the day, sheep are usually raised to roam around the garden. and at night the sheep will be kept in a barn for safety. The living space of the sheep is very spacious and airy, creating conditions for them to grow every day. Sheep's food is hay. By using automatic feeding equipment, the farm owner can save time and manpower. The maturation time of sheep depends on their breed. However, on average, an adult sheep will weigh between 40 kg to 125 kg and reach maturity between 8 months and 1 year old. The eeries when they reach adulthood will have the task of giving birth. Usually, a calving cycle lasts from about 145 to 155 days. Some signs that sheep are about to give birth include that they will separate from the flock and find a quiet place to breed. Each litter can give birth to one to three lambs depending on the breed and other factors such as age, nutrition and health of the ewe. Lambs after a period of time will be marked and fitted with tracking devices. This makes it easier for ranchers to track and manage the number and the health of their flocks. Marking and numbering help distinguish between sheep and easily identify information about them such as age, breed, sex, health, lactation status, and milk production. This is the modern sheep milking technology at the sheep farm. Sheep can be milked about two to three weeks after the new lamp is born. This ensures that the first milk of the mother sheep is fully supplied to the baby. Then as the mother's milk production increases, the breeder can start milking from the sheep. Automatic sheep milking technology is currently being developed and used to increase efficiency in sheep milk production. Reduce labor and ensure the safety of the sheep's health. The sheep are fixed to the milking chamber. The staff proceed to install the milking machine on each sheep. The automatic sheep milking machine features an intelligent control system that stabilizes milking pressure and ensures no pain to the sheep and recognizes and distinguishes the sheep to store information about the sheep, health status and milk production of individual sheep. Sheep milk when expressed by the machine will be stored in a clean environment to ensure safe and hygienic milk quality.
before shaving, the sheep will be baited to clean the coat. This is how farmers bait the large number of sheep on the farm. Each sheep is immersed in the water, then they will be some baited to dry. After the wool is dry, they are shaped. Shaving is an important process in the production of wool and in ensuring the health of the sheep. Usually, shaving is done using a special shaver, which can make shaving faster and more efficient than doing it by hand. Shaving is usually done around spring or summer when the wool is growing rapidly and reaching the length required for wool production. Shaving needs to be done carefully, avoiding damage to the sheep and ensuring their health. After shaving, it is necessary to vaccinate the sheep against diseases to ensure health and prevent diseases caused by shaving. Sheep will regrow about four to six months after being shaped, depending on the breed and living conditions. After shaving, it usually helps to make the fleece look cleaner and more beautiful. Shaving also makes the sheep more comfortable in hot weather and reduces the risk of health problems such as hot skin diseases, parasitic diseases. Sheep are usually exported to other countries by sea. When they grow up, these sheep are transported by livestock farms to the seaport by large truck. The sheep are then transported by ocean liner through containers specially designed for the transport of animals. These containers are features designed that ensure the safety of animals inside, including ventilation and facilities for eating and drinking water. Sheep is an animal that plays a very important role for human, providing us with food, wool, and skin. Taking care of and raising sheep is not easy. It requires learning and knowledge about nutrition. Living conditions as well as diseases prevention for sheep. Surely you know sheep is a gentle animal for fur to produce clothes. They are raised on a large farm and are widely raised in countries around the world. What about lamb? Have you ever eaten? Because this video will be the high-tech lamb making process of the factory in Australia. According to Minerva, Australia is currently the largest exporter of processed sheep globally, accounting for approximately 42.6% of the global market. Cattle slaughter involves three distinct stages, pre-slaughter treatment, Anastasia and slaughter, as is the case with sheep. In Australia, human treatment of animals at each of these stages is required under the Human Slaughter Act. Australian lamb has two slaughterhouses in Victoria and is one of the main sheep operators in the country, with around 93% of sales destined for export and access to more than 70 international destinations, such as the United States. 40% of experts, 
Japan, Korea, and countries in Europe recognized worldwide for both its tradition and product quality. First, the farmer still cuts the feathers and takes them to the factory for processing. Slaughtering sheep requires a high investment system and advanced technology production machinery to produce the best quality sheep for sale in the market. The Australian Lamb Company has two slaughterhouses in Victoria. with 93% of sales going to more than 170 destinations, in which the U.S. market accounts for 40% of the company's export turnover. The Japanese market, the Korean market, and European and Middle Eastern countries. Its net income for the past 12 months ended June was $448.5 million. An adjusted EBITDA was 43 million US dollars. Let's follow the lamb processing process at this Australian factory. After the sheep are sheared, they are taken to the factory for processing, put to sleep forever before handling, and hung on the line for processing. The craftsman cleans and filters the sheep's skin and cuts off their legs. After the skin is filtered, it will be sold to factories that produce sheepskin products. The other leg was amputated. The sheep's organs were separated and sold with the meat in Iceland countries. Clean with water before handling meat and parts of boneless lamb. Then filter the bones to make bone meal. The mutton after filtering is balanced and wrapped with a layer of glossy paper. Process of processing sheep offal. The farmer will filter and wash the organs, classify each type and pack them into plastic bags for each tray. In developed countries, all stages are used by modern machines.
In addition to the export of lamb, Australian merino wool is highly marketed not only because of the high volume of wool that this breed produces. Based on the parameters that determine the fineness of the wool yarn, Australian merino wool is considered fine by Brazilian and British Radford metrological standards. That is the end of today. Thank you for watching the video of any industrial technology you want to see. You can comment to let us know. It is the process of making lamb. If you like it, please like and share. Goodbye and see you again. This video has brought you useful information and helped you answer your questions. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. And don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss the latest videos.